Well, it is launch day. I don't know about you, Samantha, but I am super, super excited. <laughs> I am crazy excited. It feels like we've been waiting days for this to happen. I know. Well, I just wanted to just take a moment um, to let everybody know I'm so grateful that you're here. And I wanted, to, if you were to ask me um, a few weeks ago or a month ago or a year ago that I would be doing this, I would say, heck no, I wouldn't even know how to begin. Um, you see, about, I, oh, I own a, a marketing communications company. And when all of this shut down, um, you know, 10, what, nine, 10 months ago, I was having to pivot my business pretty hardcore. And I, you know, I'm thankfully and so grateful to my, my customers and everybody that I've been able to keep the doors open, but I, I had to make some big changes. And in doing that, I had to learn online marketing. I knew it, that's the future. And that is where everybody that has a business or wants a business or is even thinking about doing things needs to have. And so I um, was blessed and like Samantha, we, we both uh, discovered a mentor who literally helped us um, with that. And I have, instead of really, you know, I'll, I'll admit I had some days, you know, I'd sit at my desk and cry. You know, I think it was, this has been hard on all of us. In, in a lot of different ways and hard on our families, hard on our companies, our employees. And I, I keep seeing more and more that we need positivity out there. We need, you know, inspiration and we need education. And that's really what this was born out of. I was, we were, I was in a master class this past month with our mentor, Joel Bauer. And the one thing that came out of it was I needed to create a platform. And that's where my heart is. That's where my business, both businesses are going that I'm creating. And so that is really the story of where Coffee with Kim came from. And what I hope you're going to get out of this is it's going to be a journey. And I wanted to bring all of you on this journey with me because it's not perfect. It's not everything set up perfectly, right? Today, I was trying to figure out how to get LinkedIn to... Um, a YouTube so I could stream to YouTube and that takes you know a day to do that and Samantha has been guiding me along the way and I am so grateful to you Samantha so so grateful to you so um, so we're gonna let Samantha get going and get you excited about learning how to get on and do your own broadcasting well I am so excited Oops. See, <laughs> told you I'm making mistakes already. <laughs> well, and you know what? If you want to bring, boil down the whole point, uh, the whole process, it is all about trial and error. And if you're not willing to take those chances and take those leaps, you will never get there. Like, look at the process that you had three days ago compared to now. You're so much more fluid. You're so much more professional. You've gotten better at, you know, getting your flow together and getting your inputs together. But it's only because you put yourself into the fire. You have to be willing to take those first steps. Otherwise, it'll never happen. And one of the things, I really loved your introduction. Thank you so much. Because it's so true, if you don't learn this skill, which, by the way, back in 2006, when I took acting school, I did not think that getting up on broadcast was going to be a life-saving and pertinent skill. But I see how it is today, especially because of, well, the chaos that's happening around us, where really the only way for us to connect is by getting online and starting to do these things. And it's not by looking at people's noses or looking at people's foreheads or at the roofs of the of their house. It's about seeing your face. So how do you see your face most efficiently? Well, Kim's learning about lighting right now, right? And how yeah. to start to how to um, defray the, the fragmentation that she's getting. And she's getting better every single day, but it takes that trial and error. So Kim, 
are you using regular lamps or do you have professional equipment that you're using in your home or a little have, bit of both? It's a little bit of both right now. So, and working with <clears> you, I'm <throat> learning that I need to do that. <laughs> yeah. And the reason that I asked was simply because, you know, you don't need the fancy equipment. It's just like a photographer, really. All you need is a camera to, to start taking pictures. But what do photographers like to do when they become photographers? They like to buy the most expensive camera and the most expensive lighting equipment and the most expensive studio equipment. And you don't need any of that. You do need a camera, preferably a webcam or um, something that you can connect with the internet. Preferably not your not your laptop cam, but if that's all you got, then roll with it, right? It's about taking those steps and really <clears throat> learning as you go. Mm -hmm. It's um, yeah, you 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 fail forward, you tumble forward. I am. Um, I had another client here today that said, I love, <clears throat> oh, I am starting to get a little bit, let me take a drink here. I've got a, a frog in my yeah, throat. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I got somebody but, funny things planned for that too. <laughs> <laughs> frogs in your throat? Oh my. I'm just <laughs> Have you heard of the book, um, Eat the Frog? That's such a funny title. Yes. Uh, <laughs> eat that frog. But yeah, I, I, the client I was talking to today, Ooh, that was that was her thing like she's like thank you for just reconfirming that fail forward and I said yeah I don't know how many different ways that I can reframe that for you for my audience but that's the number one thing is just do it and course correct as you go along one of the things that I've been getting comments on um, from people is they're asking how we did this back yeah stuff back here <laughs> so this was pretty special this was something that i did just for kim here um because there was a thought our our mutual mentor we were talking about our mutual mentor and he had this thought about creating these talk shows where it felt like we were in the same room mm -hmm. and he played a little bit with green screen and cutting himself out and such and you know that that's all good and dandy it's pretty complicated but it, it's nice. But then I was thinking, I'm like, well, what are some other ways that we can create room environments? And so with Coffee with Kim, I knew that her environment needed to be a coffee shop, right? Because where else are you going to host a coffee, right? And, yeah. um, <laughs> right? and so I, I started looking for some environments. Now, one of the things that I really focus in on when I look for uh, digital environments, now you need to remember, I've been doing this for a long time, so I kind of have an eye for it. But if you listen really carefully, you'll be able to catch it and you'll be able to do these for yourself. And of course, I'm going to be showing all of this in more tactile ways in uh, the broadcast brilliance that I'm going to be hosting tomorrow as a celebration for my birthday. I know. I was going to say we're going to we're going to do that at the end. We're going to do a happy birthday at the end. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So, what you really want to do when you're looking for room environments, digital room environments, is you want to look for environments that. What would you see if you were sitting? that way like you really want to focus in on the perspectives when you're looking for these backgrounds what would it be like so what you see here we could easily be sitting at a table that's in front of uh in front of the baristas right just at a table having a good time side by side and that's really what i wanted the feeling to get because it's about feeling it's about creating that emotional response it, mm -hmm. it, it does look cool. Yes, it does look cool. But it's more than that. It's about creating that emotional response as if we're in the same room, experiencing the same things together. So my number one tip is perspective. Look for a room that you're going to find a perspective of um, where you'd be sitting. If you're if you're choosing a living room environment, would you really have a have a couch in the background or would you be sitting on the couch? 
Like, let's let's be honest, right? So maybe more appropriately would be something by a window where you might have your computer on a, on a table, right? So that's so perspective is so important. That's 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 my number one is how to find an environment that it's going to really seem like you're in that room. The second one is um, try to match your environment, your digital environment to your your broadcast to where you're at. Um, one of my favorite environments, one of my favorite room environments that I've created has this mountain view right and it's it's got this yellow it's really artistic um so it shows off my personality but i chose that space because i live about an hour away from the mountains it's something that i experience on a regular basis so you have a feel that it's something that is totally within the realm of possibility of where you could be so that's the second is choose something that is going to be kind of close to the heart of what you're creating or where you're at. The third is one of my favorites, and that is visualization. Now, in my big program, I do talk about visualization. So why wouldn't you bring that to your, to your digital life? Why wouldn't you choose environments that you want to be in as a part of your visualization technique, right? So in certain times and certain areas or certain people that I'm talking with, I'm in the tropics. And no, it's not a it's not a beach background with the with the palm trees because I I'm, I'm not going to be on a beach with my computer with the palm trees in the ocean that's going to wreck my computer. That's not going to happen. <laughs> but it is a doorway where you can see the ocean and the palm trees. And, you know, the sitting and comforter room. And then I've got a camera in there, right? Like it's a real visualization of my future self. So if you're not taking advantage of using these digital mediums to subconsciously create your reality, I think that's a mistake. Now, that's that's totally up to you. Um, but why wouldn't you do give yourself that gift? So um, those are those are real top things that I offer in what you'd want to kind of look for in your environment. So again, that's perspective. Your um, uh, what did I say? So match your digital match your digital environment. Yeah, and then of course your visualization. So then <clears throat> back to your question: How did I create something like this? What I did with this was I took a coffee environment photo, right? And I gave that coffee environment photo to Kim. And she was like, oh my God, that's awesome. I love it so much. And then I was like, I bet we can make it so we're there together. So what I did is I actually cut that image. So what you're seeing right now is a is half of um of the image because i had to cut it in quarters to get it the right size and then through that again we're sitting in a chair and this is what this is the end result is a units uh unified room that we can both be in so it's really really not that hard i think a lot of people like to overcomplicate things myself included <laughs> yeah, me too <laughs> No, but I, that's probably been the number one pe thing that I've been getting, you know, messaging about is like, oh, my gosh, how did you guys do that really cool background? So I really appreciate you, you know, sharing with everyone yeah. about that. So and I think it just creates a, a more unified feel of the connection. Right. Yeah. Like, nope, I love it. I really mm -hmm. love it. So I want everybody to hear about what you've got coming up. So this is Samantha's birthday week. And I love birthdays in December because my youngest daughter has her birthday in December. Hers is two days after Christmas. So I know. Um, but I would love um, for you to share with us. This is really part of really why I want to do coffee with Kim is I love celebrating others. I love celebrating what they do. I'm going to be bringing people on who are artists, who are photographers, who 
of all different passions and walks of life of what they do, what they love and what they want. And I wanna bring those, on, those people on here to celebrate them, to show those gifts that they bring to the world, right? Like you have so many gifts, um, we all do. And Samantha, you have multiple gifts, but this one is the one that was so important and dear to my heart because of what you, the gift you've given to me to be able to do this. I am really beginning to really love this. So I want to kick off her birthday week. She is offering a boot camp. There's not a lot of, you know, um, you know, pre uh, commercializing it or anything like that. But you know, she's doing this kind of just spur of the moment. So I would really want you to jump on it. I my little it, part of my learning, my banners, something got messed up, but I could got, I got the little one tickering on the bottom here, right? So it says register now go to that landing page. That's where you're going to be able to be able to register for this. So go ahead and kick off and tell them and we'll do this again at the end. Yeah. Um, and we'll make sure to, to attach that, um, that link yeah. to the video when we're done, because you know, it, these things happen and that's just part of failing forward. And that is a okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but I do have to say great thanks and incredible kudos to you because I came up with this idea what less than a week ago and I was like ah, I don't have a landing page I don't know how I'm gonna get this all together and you really helped me to make sure I got everything I needed done even this morning you were still like frantically just grabbing stuff from me and I could not have gotten this far without you and what you've contributed to me. So I really, really appreciate it. I'm really excited about launching this because, well, your enthusiasm has has definitely done something to me that I want to share it out further and further and further. And um, I couldn't think of anything better to do for my birthday. We're in lockdown. Um, I can't see my family. I just really want to help people. I want to help people to be able to connect and convey their messages because I know that it is the hardest part for so many people, but it's also the most important part. And um, I think it was you who had confided in me that it, it took you months, if not like a year, just to just to get over this hump of starting to get online and get comfortable in front of the camera. So I want to diminish that for a lot of people and and get them started getting comfortable saying the right things, having the fancy graphics, knowing how to post where they need to post. And really that's the fundamentals. It's it's really about being creative and having fun and knowing how to express that creativity. So that's the point of the broadcast brilliance is to show you how to put your best foot forward in getting up on camera so you can do it confidently and just start creating. Yeah. So tell them a little bit more. How is this? Where do they need to go? How is this going to work? How many days? All that fun stuff. Okay. So um, you do need to go to the landing page there to sign up. There's going to be uh, a button right underneath the welcome video. You can watch that video. I think I say some really cute charismatic things. But um, essentially, when you click that button, it's going to send you to a Zoom res uh, registration link, and that will get you set up to start with us tomorrow. And um, it's going to be run for seven days, and they're going to be in really small, comprehensive chunks. And there's going to be lots of room for Q&A. And I, I built that in because, unfortunately, I am a bit of a professional and sometimes I have a, I have a hard time connecting to, to the basics. And we were, we had that conversation before mm -hmm. Kim about like, when you, when you know what you're doing, it's hard to get back to that newbie space. So I've got, I've got a plethora of amazing stuff set. Again, like I said, anything from connecting your social media to how do we get, how do we say the right thing? to ex, um, doing the fun graphics. I, I've got that all set in on the seven days. You're gonna, you're gonna be That's, amazed. That is huge. 
I mean, yeah. that is an amazing value. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the fir the first day they get to just go in and mm -hmm. get a feel for that, correct? That's right. That's right. Thank you for for bringing that up because that's exactly how I set that up is the first day because it's my birthday because I like to give the the um the first day is absolutely complimentary. I want you to understand the fundamentals. And we're, we're going to do all the fancy stuff in the back end. So if you if you don't join us for the whole thing, you know, that's, that's up to you. But yeah. I want you, I just want you to have the fundamentals to get up and get started and have the confidence that you need. So the first day is on me. It's, it's, it's my way of giving back for my birthday. You and are one of the most giving people I know. I, you, everyone here, you need to really understand what this girl does. She has these communities that we're all a part of and she gives and gives and gives and gives. And for her to do this on her birthday and giving the way she does, you, you have to at least, you know, be there for that. But if you want the good stuff, like the stuff that I'm learning, it you want to invest, you need to yeah. invest in yourself. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. So, so I'm really, really, really excited. It's going to be so much fun. And that's, that's the intention going in is to really break the the pain and the scary and just get people having fun in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, look at, we got Celia. I love it. So just a reminder, if you want to, you know, be part of it, we love the interaction, go up to the top, click, you know, to let you into StreamYard. And we have Celia here. Celia, thank you so much for, you know, joining us and making comments. And, um, you know, see, see, she wants, she's like, sh we're showing her how to do this, right? And that's the thing is, it's okay. Yep. Happy birthday, Samantha. Yep. <laughs> so I wanted to keep these around, you know, 20 to 25 minutes max. We're at 22 minutes now. I just want to express how excited I am about launching. Um, I will be announcing our next um, guest and visitor coming up probably in the next um, day or so. I'm super excited about this one. It's a real special guest and I'll be doing some commercials about that as well. Um, Samantha, I, from the bottom of my heart and y'all are gonna get to know me. Yes, y'all's there because I spent, you know, a big chunk of time in Texas. I still have four, children in Texas. And, but I just, I'm so excited about this. And um, it, I, but I want to value your time. You know, maybe you're doing this during the lunchtime. Um, just because it says coffee with Kim doesn't mean you have to drink coffee. I actually have water in mine this time. Um, tea, it was just basically the idea and thought of bringing people together. And um, I'm really just grateful that y'all um, are giving me that opportunity. So Samantha, again, thank you. Um, thank you. I would not be able to have this look like this if it wasn't for you. But I love you. Well, thank you. And thank you so much for allowing me here as your first official guest on yeah. Coffee with Kim. It is such an honor to be a part of this journey with you so thank yeah. you so and we got one more i have to mention people michelle just said texas because she's our houston friend <laughs> all right so you guys have a that. great day all right